Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike from Red Raven Woolworks. Uh, today we're going to be making a little uh, wine balancer. Um, I'm getting this template right here, already cut out. I got that from the Woodworkers Guild of America website. I'm going to link that below so you can find it real quickly. Uh, what I did already was I cut it out, put it on a scrap piece of quarter inch MDF, and now I have a permanent stencil. If I plan to make uh, a bunch of these, this is going to come in handy. So I highly recommend doing this. All right, first off, we're gonna trace this onto this piece of cherry here and get going. All right, we're gonna leave a little at the end because uh, as you can see on this template, um, we're gonna use a drill bit to cut that section out. Uh, so I'm just gonna make a little mark right there. That's gonna show me where I need to drill later. So we're gonna continue to just trace that out. Add the little, uh, we're gonna cut out here and right here uh, with a, you know, it says it right here on the template, an inch and a quarter uh, drill, uh, portioner bit. I think he used spade, uh, spade bit in the actual uh, instructions, but we're gonna use a portioner bit because I don't have a spade bit that big. Okay, I got my uh, table saw set to 35 degrees down here. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna cut that bottom piece. That works. All right. Um, I'm gonna say that's pretty stable. If it's not as stable, uh, just keep adjusting your angle. Go 34 degrees or 36 degrees. Depends on, you know, I guess it's all gonna depend on the bottle. Maybe how thick or you know uh, sturdy your material is. So just make uh, subtle changes, uh, maybe one degree uh, either way, depending on which way you need to go. All right, I'm gonna send this over to my sander um, and uh, clean up the edges. Then I'm gonna use my router, get it all looking pretty, and uh, we're gonna call it a day. So I took the Woodworkers Guild of America template that I linked below, 30 minutes of our time, some scrap wood we had left over, we did some math of one plus one plus one, and then that equaled magic. Balancing wine bottle holder. Uh, super fast, super easy. Highly recommend you doing it. A lot of people think this stuff's cool. And it's uh, surprisingly stable. You can push it around a little bit and uh, it's not gonna fall over if you did it right. Uh, if you guys found this video helpful, please subscribe. Always appreciate the view. I will see you later, guys.